Good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening where you are. My name is Vincent, I'm a math tutor. Uh, in this short video lecture, we are going to do two examples on how to find eigenvalues and eigenspaces of square matrices. I hope the lesson will be useful to you. And uh, please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please press uh, the subscribe button and like the video for you to get more updates on uh, such as a series of classes. Let's go into the main thing. So uh, eigenvalues and eigenspaces. So uh, the question is to find eigenvalues and eigenspaces of these two matrices. So we have the first matrix at two by two matrix, and then the second matrix at three by three matrix. So uh, we'll start by solving the first one. So remember, eigens values are obtained from the characteristic equation. And then eigenspaces is just a set of all uh, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, which uh, corresponds to a given eigenvalue and together with the zero uh, vector. So uh, solution. For the first one, so for this matrix, so first step is to find the eigenvalues, and eigenvalues are obtained from the characteristic equation. So we solve this equation, a minus lambda i equals to zero, i.e we'll have two minus lambda, one minus 12 minus five minus lambda equals to zero. So this will be two minus lambda times minus five minus lambda plus 12 equals to zero. So we'll have minus 10 minus two lambda and then plus five lambda, and then plus lambda squared plus 12 equals to zero. So we'll have lambda squared minus, I will be plus three lambda minus 10 plus 12 is plus two equals to zero. So here product is two, sum is three, so numbers one and two. So we'll have lambda squared plus lambda plus two lambda plus two equals to zero. So this and this pairs. So we'll have lambda into lambda plus one plus two into lambda plus one equals to zero. So lambda plus two times lambda plus one equals to zero. And this one tells us that the eigenvalues will be lambda one equals to minus two and lambda two equals to minus one. So once you have gotten the eigenvalues, then the next step is to find the corresponding eigenvectors for each eigenvalue. So eigenvectors, eigenvectors. So we we'll start with lambda one equals to minus two. So to find the eigenvector, so yes, of so this equation, a v1 equals to lambda one v1, where v1 is the eigenvector corresponding to a lambda one equals to minus two. So remember our matrix A is given by two minus 12 and then one minus five. So let this vector B1 be of these elements, X1 and X2. So we'll have X1, X2 are uh, equals to minus two 
x1, x2. So this will give us 2x1 minus 12x2 equals to minus 2x1. So this is equation one, and then equation two will have x1 minus 5x2 equals to minus 2x2. So this is equation two. Now from equation two, we see that x1 is given by minus 2x2 plus 5x2. So it tells us that x1 equals to 3x2. Uh, therefore, x2 can be taken to be the uh, free variable. So let t to be x2. So this is just uh, a real number. So this means that uh, x1 would be given by 3t. So uh, which tells us that v1 <coughs> will be given by x1 is 3t, x2 is t. So we get the same as 3, 1, and then t. For a to be an eigenvector, then uh, we eliminate the possibility of having a zero vector. So uh, t should be any non-zero real number. So therefore, uh, taking uh, t to be 1, and the basic uh, basis eigen vector will be v1 equals to 3, 1. Now because lambda 1, so, uh, so therefore the eigen space for lambda 1 equals to minus 2 is so remember, uh, we abbreviate uh, eigen space by uh, bold E. So this is how we abbreviate it. So, uh, so lambda one is given by uh, E lambda one is the span of all vectors formed by this vector 3, 1. So this is how we present the solution. So eigenspace is a span of the set, which are linear combinations of this uh, vector here. For lambda 2 equals to negative 1, then we also solve this equation. Uh, let the Again, vector be given by v2 because this is a case of uh, matrix was a size of size of two by two so v2 can also be taken to have these elements x1 x2 so that will have uh, 2 minus 12 1 and then minus 5 which is the matrix a multiplied by x1 x2 equals to minus one, x one, x two. So this will be two x one minus 12 x two equals to minus x one. So this equation one, and then x one minus five x two equals to minus x two. This is equation two. And then you say from equation two, uh, we see that x1 equals to minus x2 plus 5x2. So which means x1 equals to 4x2. So also this case, x2 is free. So we let t to be x2. So which means then x1 will be 4t. So therefore, uh, v2, this vector v2, will be x1, x2, which will be 4t, t, which can be just written as 4, 1, and then t, and then fixing 
t to be one, we get the uh, basis eigenvector. So remember this uh, t must be a non-zero non -real, non real number so that uh, we don't, uh, we will make the possibility of having a zero vector because uh, eigenvector is a non-zero vector. So letting t equals to one then uh, v2 will be given by four one. So therefore, the eigenspace for lambda two equals negative one is uh, eigenspace corresponding to lambda two is the span of all linear combinations. Actually, the span of this vector simply means that all linear combinations of this eigen uh, basis eigen vector. So this is the solution to that given part. Now, the second problem, uh, the matrix B is given by three minus two zero uh, minus two three zero 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 five. So as usual, the first step is to find the eigen values. And to find eigen values, you solve the characteristic equation. So our characteristic equation of this matrix is the determinant. Uh, taking the determinant of this matrix then equating to zero. So this is the same thing as saying, so this is this B. That three minus lambda minus two zero minus two three minus lambda zero 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 five minus lambda then you get to zero so uh, these are three by three matrix and because we have uh, many zeros in the third row we can expand along the third row and then uh, you have to remember this checkerboard when you're dealing uh, with three by three matrices. So the sign is positive. So we have five minus lambda, determinant of three minus lambda, minus two, minus two, three minus lambda equals to zero. So we'll have five minus lambda into three minus lambda, three minus lambda, then minus four equals to zero. So we'll have, uh, this means five minus lambda equals to zero or three minus lambda, three minus lambda minus four equals to zero. So here means lambda equals to five or this will be nine minus three lambda minus three lambda plus lambda squared minus four. And then, so this will be lambda squared minus six lambda plus five equals to zero. So our product here, product is five, sum is minus six. So numbers must be negative one and minus five. So we'll have lambda squared minus lambda minus five lambda plus five equals to zero. So lambda into lambda minus one minus five into lambda minus one equals to zero. So uh, lambda minus five and then lambda minus one equals to zero from which we have lambda equals to five and lambda equals to one. 
So uh, therefore we can say, so uh, setting, so there are three eigen values, lambda one to be one, lambda two to be the same as lambda three, to be the same as five. Of course they are they're repeating, uh, five is repeating uh, two times. So next thing is to find eigen vectors. So uh, we start with lambda one equals to one. So we solve this equation b v one equals to lambda one v one. So uh, our matrix B is given by three minus two zero and then minus two three zero 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 five. And then because these are what matrix of the three by three, then uh, V1 will be this form, X1, X2, X3. So X1, X2, X3 equals to one, and then X1, X2, X3. So therefore we'll have uh, 3x1 minus 2x2 equals to x1, so this equation one, and then minus 2x1 plus 3x2 equals to x2, this equation two, and then 5x3 equals to x3, so this equation three. Now from question three, uh, five X minus three equals to X three is nothing but saying uh, five X three minus X three equals to zero, which is the same thing as saying four X three equals to zero. And this implies that X three equals to zero. And from equation one, so I'll we'll have three X one equals to X one. Uh, actually, I bring X one to the left so that I have three X one, three X one, minus x1 equals to 2x2. So we the same thing as 2x1 equals to x2. So we do the same thing as say x1 equals to x2. So you can fix x2 as three. So therefore let x2 to be t, while this t is just a real number. So this implies that x1 equals to just t. So therefore the vector V1 would be of this form, T, T0, which is the same as uh, one, one, zero, T. Now for it to be an eigen vector, then I remove the possibility of having a zero vector. And then setting T to be one, we get the basis uh, eigen vector. And so therefore uh, setting T equals to one, then the basis eigen vector will be one, one, zero. So therefore the eigenspace corresponding to the uh, eigen vector lambda one, eigen value lambda one will be uh, eigenspace for lambda one equals to one is, so eigenspace, so this matrix is B, lambda one is the span of these vectors. So that's what we have. So the span of that vector 
is what defines the eigenspace for lambda one. Now, lambda two equals to lambda three equals to five. So we still uh, have uh, A, uh, B, lambda two, uh, B, uh, so let this vector call it V2. So uh, we'll have B, V equals to lambda V. So uh, the matrix B is given by three minus two and then zero uh, minus two, three, zero, 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 five. And then this still uh, of this form X1, X2, X3. So X1, X2, X3 equals to five X1, X2, X3. So we'll have three X1 minus two X2 equals to five X1. So call it equation one. And then minus two X1 plus three X2 equals to five X2. And then lastly, five X3 equals to five X3. So call it equation three. Now, from equation three, we see that uh, equation three says five x three equals to five x three. So it's the same thing as saying x three equals to x three, which is true for all values you pick uh, are are three numbers. So therefore, uh, x three. This means that true in general. So this means that X3 is free and can take on any value uh, of real numbers because remember we are dealing uh, so this space we're considering linear uh, this uh, this course is uh, set of real numbers so uh so therefore uh let uh x3 and just let's call it let bbt so where it is any real number and then from equation one you see that three x1 minus two x2 equals to five x1 and then uh, it's the same thing as saying uh, 3x1 equals uh, minus 5x1 equals to 2x2. So uh, x minus 2x1 equals to 2x1. So which is the same language as saying x1 equals to minus x2. So we can fix X2 to be free so that uh, let X2 to be S. Now use a different uh, parameter you have used for the first case. Let X2 be S where this S is also another real number. So this will mean that X1 will be minus S. So therefore uh, V will be X1 x2 x3 uh, which is the same as x1 is minus s x2 is s x3 is t but this can be written as minus s s0 plus 0 0 t which can further be written as minus one one zero s plus uh, so remember this vector b 
uh, 0, 0, 1, and then t. Remember, s and t are real numbers. For them to buy again vector, so Jeff Murumu probability of having 0, s, and 0, t at the same time. So uh, setting s equals to t equals to 1, then we have, so I uh, call it V2 to be this first one, minus one, one, zero, and V3 to be this other vector, zero, zero, one. So therefore the eigen space Eigen space for lambda equals to five is so eigen space the matrix was B of lambda equals to five in the span of all vectors formed by linear combinations of minus one, one, zero, and zero, zero, one. So uh, this is how we present the answer to those two problems. So I do as many examples as possible in the same. So uh, in summary, to find eigen spaces of a square matrix, the first thing is to find eigen values, and then Next step is to find the eigenvectors for each of the eigenvalues. And therefore, to specify the eigenspace is simply the span of all those, vect uh, all those vectors corresponding to that specific eigenvalue. Uh, so thank you, and keep watching for more other videos.